Okay, hello everyone. This is KC from WebBuddy. So in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can create a new blog post in this WordPress 2024 team. And along with the creation, I will also teach you some tips on how to beautify your a single blog post. Okay, as blog post is very important for a website in terms of search engine optimization. And when you have more content, people are more likely to find you when they are searching online. So let's go to post, add new post. Okay. So over here, you can just add in a title. Okay. So assuming this is the title, how to create a Zen workspace office cleaning tips. And about the content, this is where you can just type in all your content so i previously type up something using ai so i just paste them here okay so and a lot of times you may want to also insert an image so the simplest way to insert an image is to click on where you want to insert the image and click here and click on add after so you open the new block and you can slash image and click on image and you can upload the image that you want so for example this is the image i want to show okay so this is the image in the uh, blog post so also at the right you can see that there are some options as well that you can enter if you want to you can adjust the dimension of the image as well if you want this image upon clicking to link to somewhere you can click on insert link okay and now you can just publish the post and let's take a look on how it looks like so if you were to click view post okay so this is how the blog post will look like a few things that you might want to change first is that there is no sidebar so if you want to insert the sidebar you will need to change the template so for example we go back to the dashboard over here template you can choose single with sidebar after that you click update and let's do a preview again and now you can see there's a sidebar and you can change the sidebar under patterns as well i might cover that in my future tutorial but for some of you you may not want to show sidebar as more and more recent uh, blog posts online they are getting rid of a uh, sidebar so we are going to just show the main content Okay, so a few things that you might want to change first is the name of the author of this post and also the category. So let's move on to how to change the category. So let's go to post categories. You can create a new category here. So for example, I can create a new category called office cleaning. Okay office cleaning and i click add new category and i go to all posts and let's delete this hello world let's trash it and for this blog post you can see that the category is uncategorized so i'm going to click quick edit change it to office cleaning and click update okay the next thing is my name that's appearing in the blog post how can i change it you can go to profile users profile and scroll down you can see there's a nickname over here so nickname perhaps you want people to see the word admin so you just type in the nickname scroll down update profile and then scroll up back here again display name publicly as choose this as admin and then scroll down again and click update profile so now when you go back to the blog post to click refresh it's being changed to admin in office cleaning 
Okay, and some of you may wonder if you want to increase the width of this content, can you do so? Because currently on desktop, it might appear too narrow and it might waste quite a bit of space on the left and on the right. So you can do that by expanding the width. And let's go back to dashboard. Okay, so once you're in the dashboard, let's go back to post or post and click edit on the post that just now you have created and over here template is single post so click on that and click edit template we're going to edit the template to increase the width okay so um before we increase the width i just want to show you in the template there is this image over here this image will by default show the featured image so if you have any image set to feature image in your blog post it will first appear the feature image then followed by the title and for me personally i don't really like this feature image over here so i would suggest you may want to delete it okay so i have deleted that feature image okay now back to the topic that we will want to do is that we want to expand the width of this section so you can see that over here in the template there's a header there's a group group means the content that we are uh, looking at right now and also the footer okay so let's look at the group first expand up the group first one first group so expand this group as well okay so this group over here you can change the content so you can expand it to 1400 this for this group and for this content you can also extend it to 1400 okay of course you can extend to any number you want depending on your preference so let's click update click save and go back to our website take a look take a look at the blog post and you can see that now the width has expanded and the image because it doesn't have any alignment so it will appear as it is right now so we are going to align this image over here click on the image over here and click on align let's select align left and click update again go back to the blog post do a refresh and you can see that now it has been aligned beautifully okay uh, one more thing is that this node is not uh, left aligned as well so let's go to edit the template because this is controlled uh, by the template okay so click on here okay under post meta this is known as the post meta click on block setting expand it over here group and over here there's a justification just select justify item to left and click update again click save go back and do a refresh and you can see that it's aligned to the left okay so that's how you can add a blog post and edit the template so that it will look consistently the same okay so in the next tutorial video i'm going to show you how to create a blog page that shows all your blog posts i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you